Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I have been making shower poofs and I got bitten by the lovey bug. So, I thought I'd share with you my finished objects, a little mail and something else I have to show you. Shower poofs. Let's get started. I start making these about this time every year because I give them away as Christmas gifts and um, it's a good way to use up some of my cotton, which I seem to have ever mounting cotton with nothing planned for it. So this was the first one I made. This is by Ophelia Talks. It's quite dense uh, and it does use a lot of yarn and you can make it bigger if you wish or smaller if you wish. I used Lincrafts 8 ply 3 weight DK cotton and I do use 100% cotton. So this one I'll probably will bag up with a lavender bar of soap. Nice bag with ribbon and it makes a great gift. So that was number one. And then it got me thinking about my cotton yarn. Not so much scraps but like a third of a ball or half a ball. And I thought I'd make a scrappy one. So I made this one. See if you look in the middle it's a different pink again. I made this small for a little girl and I'll probably put this with some rose coloured soap. But yeah, it was a great way to use up those bits of cotton. There are too much to throw away or just use for nothing. This is a great little gift. I then decided I needed one because mine's looking a bit rough and ready. And I misplaced the ball band, but it was... Um, Sugar and cream scrub off cotton. This one. Now, my favourite colour is orange. If you're new to the channel, the old subscribers would know. I love orange. This is colour is papaya. So the scrub off has like scrubby cotton, then normal cotton, then scrubby cotton. Yes, it did have this big white section, but that's how it goes in the scrubby cotton. I made mine because I like them quite loose. I don't like them really heavy and dense when I use them. But this is made just for me. And this is a tutorial by Tanya G. I don't know. I will leave links to all the tutorials for these three um, shower puffs in the description below. Because I highly recommend these as a Christmas gift with a nice little bar of soap gift wrapped. They make great ones, even for guys, because you can make black and grey ones and put some real manly soap. Um, they've always been well received as stocking fillers. So I was watching Rose like this crochet and she was showing her lovies and she released the lovey bug and it came down under and bit me. I have about four toys that I needed to make lovies for and I decided I'm going to make some lovies. So first of all is Freddy Fox. I made this little lovey. Now the lovey is the Z's RJ3 where you crochet it around a headband and it can come off or on. Parents love these when they're on my craft market store because they can take them off and wash the lovey or they can put the clean lovey on another, animal, another toy and wash the toy. He's a little sit down fox. He has black on his ears and that's why I did him in the black. The only difference to her tutorial is I put this little edging on my lovies to finish them off. That was the first one. Then I had this little panda who I figured with those big eyes needed some bling. So this is Spotlight Starlight yarn. The white even has glitter. It is baby soft. Um, it's not rough at all. Here's a little sit down panda and I made that one. Same thing, put the edging around, same tutorial. And then it got me thinking, um, when they came out, these the Lion Brand One Hat Wonder in Sesame Street, they were $20 each here, but they ended up throwing them all out on sale for $2 and I bought one. You're supposed to make a beanie, but I get tired of making beanies and I thought, what could I do? So, And I can't remember who it was. Could you just hold on a sec? Nope, still can't remember who it was. 
I made this eight point star lovey. I will find it on my laptop and put it in the description below um, to acknowledge the tutorial I followed. I, I need to sew his head on a little better because he's a little floppy, but the idea is a tiny toddler can hold it like that. And I use some of the um, carnival black to put a little edging on it, but I really like this. I just think I need to sew his head on a little better. I think it's Elmo. I'm not great with Sex Sesame Street characters, but if you did buy a lot of these and are tired of making beanies, highly recommend making a little lovey and doing it like that because they are great. Yeah, I didn't really sew his head on very well. But that was my third lovey. I have a elephant lovey and a unicorn lovey to go. Um, I look in my yarn stash and I go, I mm, haven't got the right colours. So unfortunately, I probably will have to do some yarn shopping on my road trip. Poor thing. <laughs> Not to worry. So the young company, I said that I would give a second go to the order arrived today as they said it would. With a little confusion. It arrived in the post pack, well packed. And the stuff inside was packed in butcher's paper. So it was nicely packed. The attraction was that in 2019 they only delivered to a residential address and now they actually deliver to a post box. However, I don't know if it's because they've got a lot of back orders and they've been in lockdown and they're rushing, but they really mashed up the address. So the way it works here, our post goes to the suburb in front of us and gets sorted and the postman pick it up and deliver it. Or it goes to the one behind us, same thing, in the next suburb. So this morning I get a phone call from my friend at the post office and he goes, I've got a parcel for you. Going to a post box that doesn't exist in another suburb. And I went, what? He goes, yeah, it's definitely for you because it's yarn. I must, and I have to come and pick it up because I have to show ID to verify that it is me. So I go there and they really did mash up. They've got the right post box, but the wrong suburb, wrong everything. Um, I'm really lucky that he knows me and he's a really friendly, helpful guy because if it had gone to the one north, the women there would just return to sender. They have no time, no patience for anything. Just you can't get it right, it goes back. So yeah, I did get my order today. Now, when I was checking out their website, the big attraction was that they were stocking more Premier yarn. I love Premier yarn. And in 2019, when I offered feedback and asked them to get more Premier yarn in, in a better range, well, it seems that they have done that. They also had these knitting needles. I've been chasing 5.5 knitting needles. These are Knit Pro and they were really reasonably priced. 5.5 knitting needles are proven to be really hard to get here. So I thought I would buy these. I took them out because I wanted to check. I bought the 40 centimetre and now I'm thinking for the project I may have, should probably got the 60 centimetre, but we'll see how we go. So they were reasonably priced and they came. I also have some Lion Brown Kaboo yarn. I have one ball and when I checked how to project, I worked out I needed two. And they had it in the colour orange, because the other one's orange, my favourite colour. And it was the same price as all other websites. It wasn't any cheaper or dearer. Kaboo yarn is really quite expensive to buy in Australia. Much cheaper from Lion Brand, but by the time you pay for freight, it just bumps it up. But me, I must have been off the planet that night because I worked it out wrong. I actually need three, so I actually need another one of these. And when I was checking out their new Premier yarn, I um, found a yarn. I want to make a baby blanket for a little boy that will be born in spring. And um, it, so it needs to be lightweight and lovely. And I, they had Premier anti-pilling prints um, in everyday DK, which is 8 ply, 3 weight. It's lovely and soft. This is the colour Leapfrog. It's blues, greens, greys, cream. I bought five balls of this, but I should have thought about it because I can't find a baby blanket pattern that will do the variegated yarn justice. 
I have made lots of blankets from Bag of Day, Chris Tritt, the Secret Yarnery, Creative Grandma, but a lot of them look better in solid colours. And I am really scratching my head to find a baby blanket pattern that will do this yarn colour justice. So guys, if you know of a pattern, can you leave um, links or how to get to that pattern in your comments below? Um, it can be a tutorial. It can be a, a free pattern. I don't mind if it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry or Etsy. As long as you think it's a pattern I should check out for this beautiful variegated yarn. Because I want it to be a special blanket for this little boy that is due in spring. So we were supposed to go on our road trip early, um, earlier than this, but we delayed it a few days. Um, I guess he was a family friend. He's a friend of things more than the whole family. When we were, the boys were younger, we all used to go camping together, but as per usual, as you get older, the men might stick together, but everyone else drifts apart. About three weeks ago, he had a head-on um, collision car crash the other lady in the other car died instantly and he'd been in hospital for three weeks and he passed away due to all his injuries which um thing wanted to stay around to say goodbye so we delayed leaving and uh, yeah he was too young he's a lovely man always smiley always happy and only in his mid 50s so he left a wife and kids behind um which is quite sad and yeah it was important to think to say goodbye we did however um have a day trip up to the tablelands we went to the strawberry farm um, up there they would built a new cafe and hoping locals will support it in the school holidays in september you can go to the strawberry farm with your kids and pick a bucket of strawberries have fun doing that um you just pay for the strawberries it's a great outing it's a great school holiday activity. Um, they make beautiful strawberry gelato. We did have lunch in any cafe. It was lovely. Loose leaf tea in a teapot. Unheard of. You generally get a tea bag, but no, they serve loose leaf tea in a teapot. Big five-star review from me. It was nice. I bought punnet of fresh strawberries, locally grown, some jam they made. Yeah, lovely, friendly people. Would definitely go back again. We'd like to go back and pick some strawberries and have some fun. But on the trip up there, of course, I'm going to stop off at my favourite news agency and I bought Crochet well, uh, Encyclopedia. 55 patterns for all abilities. The big attraction in this was there's some amigurumi. I probably will need my glasses to find the page. There's Wallace and Gromit, but what got me in is Paddy the Polar Bear. Yes, I love polar bears. For those who are new to the channel, I collect ceramic polar bears, and I just found this to be really cute. It is made in, I think it's called Schwebsky's Namaste yarn. Now I look to all warehouse for this yarn, and it needs seven balls. They're 50 gram balls, and wow. It's expensive. So I decided to check out Yarn Substitute and it happens to be a spotlight yarn that's 91% match for this yarn. So on that unfortunate yarn shopping adventure, we were on our road trip, I might have to check out this spotlight yarn. I've never used it before and see what it's like to make Paddy the Polar Bear. There are lots of great patterns in this. Oh yeah. I love my little news agent. She has such a great range of um, crochet magazines, knitting. Not so much knitting, but a lot of crochet. So, guys, that's it from me. We are almost ready to go. I have decided on my road pro trip project, which I will have in the car. I've made three wind spinners so far. I haven't shared those with you yet for different people, and I got asked to make two more. And yeah, they're really easy and a great um, road trip project, mindless really to do. And I've packed my project bag for the projects I will do on those days. I just want to relax and craft. I have a knitting project, hence the knitting needles I need, small project. 
and a new big crochet project. So I am all organised. I was undecided this afternoon and Reeve said to me, why don't you just hire a trailer and take all your yarn and patterns with you and decide as you go along. He is so cheeky. Anyway, guys, until next time, stay safe, take care. Remember, life's an adventure and you can have one yarny adventure every day. Bye for now.